Okay, so just looking at converting cube units. All right, so if we had something that was one centimeter by one centimeter, one centimeter, then the actual volume of that would be one times one times one, which is one centimeter cubed. Now, if I wanted to work out how many millimeters cubes are in one centimeter cubed, think about a millimeter cube, it's just like that big. How many of those fit inside that? Then if you look at your cube, and instead of um, having the sides in centimetres, let's change the centimetres to millimetres. So that's 10 millimetres by 10 millimetres by 10 millimetres. So normally, if you look back up the top there, normally centimetres to metres is 10. To set millimetres is 10. Okay, so when you have cube units, you do times 10 times 10 times 10. Because there's one ten for each dimension, so it's going to be one thousand. So it'll be three times the number of zeros. And the same would work if you had kilometers cubed, and say you wanted meters cubed. Normally, it's a thousand. So you're going to do a thousand times a thousand times a thousand. So it'd be one with one, two, three, four, five, six, nine. You can also go one, two, three cubed and you put a three on top okay so if you wanted to convert let's look at converting these so let's see i have uh four so i'm going to do one with a zero point i think zero point oh four three two and we'll make that cubic meters and we're going to look at how many centimeters cubed now one meter is a hundred centimeters so one meter cubed would be triple the number of zeros a hundred times a hundred times a hundred centimeters cubed so what that means is you need to go one two three four five six get the decimal point one two three four because we've got a time so we're going that way five six so you gotta put zeros in so it's four three two zero zero cubic centimetres. So say we have 923400 and that can be millimetres cubed equals how many kilometres cubed. So normally one kilometre is 1000 um, millimetres, no it's not 1000 millimetres It'd be a thousand times a hundred, so two more zeros times ten millimeters. Because if you look back up at your chart up there, you want to go all the way along here from kilometers all the way to millimeters. You first of all you do first zeros, then the next two, next two, and you're going that way because you're going from kilometers to millimeters. You're going from millimeters back to kilometers. It goes that way. All right, now, this one here, we're going from millimetres backwards. So it's actually going to be division. And you're going to move the decimal point that way. So usually it is a million. So it's going to be that. But we do that. But then we're going to do it three times. So I'm going to put it to the power of three. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Then one, two, three four, five, six, then one, two, three, four, five, six. Wow. <laughs> That's a really, really small number. So the actual solution will be what? 0 0.1236. I'm up to, I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, eight, nine, and then nine, two, three, four. A mighty big number. Okay, so just um, just with your conversions, just if you have, let's say, kilometers to meters to centimeters to millimeters, 10, 100, 1,000. If you're going that way, you times, and going backwards, you divide. And the zeros is how many times you move the decimal point. 
So say I have 3.2 centimeters and I want to change that to millimeters. Then if you look at that, centimeters to millimeters, that would be 10. So that would be, and times 10, so you end up with 32. But if I make it 3.2 meters squared, then it would be times 10 times 10. So you actually move it twice as many as zeros. One, two, so it's 320 millimeters squared. Oh, sorry, that one was meters. Let's just do it on meters. Meters would be 100 times 100. It would be one, two, three, four. So that means there'd be an extra zero there. And that would make it centimeters squared. I didn't do that one real well. Let's just have another go. Uh, 4.8 meters. Now I'm going to do, I'll just do a square unit one again. Um, and let's make it centimeters squared. So one meter is 100 centimeters. So one meter squared is 100 by 100 centimeters squared. Okay, so you go one, two, because you've got two zeros, three, four, three, four. So it'll be four, eight, one, two, three. All right, and so I have 0 0.083, and we'll make that centimeters cubed, and I'm going to change it to millimeters cubed. So centimeters to millimeters, that would be that way, so it's times. Now normally one centimeter is 10 millimeters, so when I'm doing cube units, one centimeter cubed would be 10 by 10 by 10 millimeters cubed. So you get the decimal point and you've got one, two, three. So you end up with 83 because there's one decimal place movement going that way for every zero.